Amid the recent tensions between India and Pakistan, there has been significant discussion surrounding the Fatah missiles. Let's take a closer look at what these missiles are and what they are capable of. Fatah missiles are classified as guided artillery rockets, developed on Pakistan's multiple rocket launch system program by NESCOM. The range of Fatah-1 is stated to be 140 kilometers, while the improved Fatah-2 missile has a range of up to 400 kilometers. Unlike conventional unguided rockets, Fatah missiles use inertial navigation and satellite guidance to accurately hit high-value targets. Fatah missiles have low production and operational costs compared to short-range ballistic missiles. Its precise targeting system enables it to accurately hit designated military targets such as command centers, radar installations and supply depots. So, how would the Fatah missiles penetrate air defense networks? By firing multiple missiles in quick succession, a classic saturation strategy, this overloads radar and intercept systems like the S-400, Indian Akash or Barak-8, forcing them to prioritize targets and potentially miss others. Unlike traditional ballistic arcs, Fatah missiles have a flatter or depressed trajectory. This allows the missile to fly lower, reducing detection time by early warning radars and interception windows. However, they do travel slower than a ballistic missile. Finally, the launchers can quickly move, fire and relocate, evading counter-battery fire and making preemptive strikes difficult. The brief conflict between Pakistan and India eventually ended with a ceasefire. However, Pakistan managed to reassert its deterrence despite facing an adversary who has sophisticated surface-to-air missile systems. I hope you enjoyed this brief military video provided by SSG Defense Analysis. If you liked our content, please subscribe, like and leave your comments.